What has been a miserable season at Auburn? This is the biggest disappointment of a football team in college football by far. It's not even close. Not Texas, not anyone else. It's at Auburn. And the latest hit to the football program came on Monday in the form of the dismissal of DeQuill Duke Williams. We're talking about an all-SEC wide receiver who was the number one junior college player coming off that level in 2013 and going to Auburn in 2014. Turned in a fine season last year. 45 catches, over 700 yards, and five touchdowns, and that's despite missing three games. But there were warning signs. He was suspended for the Outback Bowl due to violating team rules. Then came some tweets that were sent out and some um, stories concerning uh, his non-commitment to the football program back in spring practice. And then he was suspended during August camp and then finally dismissed from the football team. And to quote uh, head coach Gus Malzahn, I gave DeQuill the chance to prove himself. I am disappointed that it did not work out. Again, we're talking about a kid that, to compare him and Auburn's latest number one wide receiver, Sammy Coates, very similar in terms of body type, just freakish athletes with long arms that could high point the football, that uh, could muscle up uh, defensive backs, could also fly by them. Just freakish athletes to look at, chiseled athletes. Huge difference in regards to speed and in terms of fluidity. So Duke Williams compared to Sammy Coates, who is on an NFL roster right now. Duke Williams had very soft hands, still has very soft hands, and was fluid in and out of his cuts. He looked the part. Sammy Coates, great athlete who fought the football. I thought Duke Williams was going to have a tremendous senior season at Auburn. And with Jeremy Johnson playing the part and looking the part in regards to his size, his athleticism, his arm. I thought this could possibly be the best pass catch combination in the SEC this season. Didn't turn out that way because Duke Williams makes bad decisions over and over and over and over. The suspension, uh, again, we don't know exactly what it entailed. We we hear all sorts of rumors and reports out there, and there have been three suspensions that we ran down going back to the Outback Bowl uh, this past January, and there was an Instagram photo of Duke Williams with a black eye, and the latest um, situation apparently uh, involves another altercation. So no Duke Williams and Auburn's two best receivers right now are probably seniors. And this is not um, a good situation for the Auburn Tigers. Ricardo Lewis, a capable player, uh, a, a decent player, 19 receptions this year, 193 yards, one touchdown, caught 21 passes last year. This should not be your number one wide receiver at Auburn. Uh, also, Melvin Ray, as a senior, catching nine passes, came into this season with 13 career receptions. If you're a senior and you have not seen the football and been targeted and been on the field, there's a reason why. Capable athlete, but at this level in the SEC, for a program that is supposed to be one of the 10 best in the nation to start the season, these guys should not be on the field and be targeted this much. Darius Slayton and Ryan Davis are two of the highly recruited players at wide receiver in 2015. They have yet to see the field this season. So it's going to be Lewis and Ray. Auburn fans, let us know who else we can look out for this season at wide receiver for the Auburn Tigers. But this season has been a complete disaster and debacle. Losing games on the field, the near miss against Jacksonville State, the failure of Jeremy Johnson to fulfill his potential at least right now as an SEC top flight quarterback and now the dismissal of Duke Williams. Auburn fans, SEC fans need to hear from you on the Duke Williams situation and what is going on at Auburn right here on Mark Rogers TV.